O-A-T, my goat, honey, my Juvia concealer. I was so over it by then, though. Well, now we're recording. Hi, everyone! <laughs> Welcome to Blackboard Bees. I am Ant. My house is under construction. It is a little chaotic right now, so we're just gonna push through and we're gonna work through it. If you are new to our channel, these are the wonderful things that I do. I personally post every Friday, and if it's something that you're interested in, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and join this girl game. <laughs> I can't people. If you are not new to this channel, how you doing, boo? As you can see, I've got my second born here. He's going to be my hairstylist of the day. And I'm going to have my daughter actually pick out the colors for my makeup. I actually have a lot of eyeshadows. I have a problem. I know I'm not going to fix it though. And I decided to start using some items that I have that I haven't really touched because I don't know what to do with them. So basically, it's going to be a very silent video and I'm just going to do a lot of voiceover work. So, without further ado, let's get to it. Okay, you wonderful individuals, this is going to be my very first complete voiceover video. I really never thought I would do voiceovers, but the universe typically has other plans, so here we are. I guess it was just meant to be. The first thing I'm going to do is fill in my eyebrows with my LA Girls Ultimate Intense Stay Auto Liner in Deepest Brown. It glides on so smoothly and provides me so much coverage. I know it's not meant to go on your eyelids, but... With me, it has sped up my eyebrow process, and for that I am too grateful. I feel like it provides consistency as well, and with very few quick strokes and even a couple of uh-ohs, I can just brush it out with my brush brow, and boom, they're good. Please do not mind my dandruff, by the way. They decided to make an appearance that nobody asked for. Just out here showing my sins. Next, I'm going to cut my eyebrows with my overly used, too lazy to buy another one right now, Maybelline Concealer in the shade Hazelnut. I'm honestly shocked I'm even able to still read the shade, but that's okay, because it still works. It still gets the job done. I then buff that out or spread it or whatever with a contouring brush. I usually use my concealer brush for this part, but they were all dirty and I didn't feel like like cleaning any of them. All three of them. You heard me right. I was too lazy to clean all three measly concealer brushes. Don't judge. Okay, so now I'm going back to my eyebrows with my NYX Micro Brow Pencil in the shade Black. Uh, just to try and sharpen them up a little bit more. And don't mind my little looks. My son just said I look crazy. And he wasn't wrong. So... Okay, so now I'm going in with my Rimmel Stay Matte Eye Concealer. I don't think this has a shade. If it does, I couldn't find it on the tube. But the purpose of me using it is to not only keep the oils on my lids off or down or low or whatever, but to also help make the beautiful, bright, and loud colors my daughter will pick even bigger and louder because why not? If we're gonna do this, why not go all the way? Just, just be the best highlighter, clown, glam we could do. And that's on what? Being the star of the circus, honey. For 
for my primer, I use my NYX Shine Killer Primer. That face was because my son was making fart noises behind me. Boys are so much fun. Anywho, I like to place my primer around the same areas I apply my foundation because my OCD has convinced me it'll stick better in these areas and the world won't come to a complete end. I'm basically saving the world, y'all. Or so my OCD tells me. As far as placement goes, I'm not sure if the sticking part is better or if it's accurate, but it makes my soul feel better. So I just believe it and just go with it. Now I'm going in with my black opal powder in the shade Deep. I'm just going to use this with a damp sponge and apply where I want the minimal amount of creasing and on areas I tend to get really oily. So like my nose, my smile line, I usually do my forehead as well, and where I have some darker pigmentation along my actual cheek lines, or cheeks. The side of my face, under my cheeks, you know what I'm doing, you see what I'm doing. For my eyes, I gave my daughter two eyeshadow palettes. I had no balls to use. The first one is the Profusion Cosmetics palette called Spectrum that you see here. The other one is the Giorgio's Brushes Neon Glow. But right when she picked the palette, the camera shut off and I couldn't record it because I had actually already applied it. Mother fuck! So yeah, that's, that's what that look is right here. This look right here, that's what that is right there. Okay, so as you can see, the colors my daughter chose was a very hot pink for my lids, a very neon lime-like green for my crease, and then a very, very glittery neon pink that she also wanted on my lids. It was my choice to try and draw them out to my corners and a little above my crease, so I, I can't fault her for that. That was all me. Then she chose a teal color for my lower lids. I wanted to do a bright neon purple, but she said no. It was at this moment that he knew. He fucked up. Yeah. Yes, I did. But anyways. For my face, I'm going back in with my Morphe Fluidity. I hope I'm saying that right. Probably not. Full coverage foundation in the shade F560. Put that in the same places I put my primer. Because, you know, I'm saving the world by doing this. Thank you, OCD. No pressure. Then I pat that down with a damp sponge and try to make it spread out as evenly as possible. Because nobody likes a patchy bitch. So let's not be one. Okay, so it was taking too long with that small ass sponge, so I switched to my Big Bertha. For my concealer, I had to use my piece of shit Wet n Wild concealer because I couldn't find my Juvia's Place concealer. That Juvia, honey? It has spoiled me. I only bought this Wet n Wild because it was on sale and I am a sucker for sales. I'm talking, how many licks does it take until you get to the center of a Tuxie Pop sucker for sales, okay? This Wet n Wild dries way too fast for my liking and doesn't provide as much coverage that I like. keep reapplying and then immediately having to pat it down with my damp sponge. And then of course when I'm close to finishing my daughter found and brought me my G-O-A-T, my GOAT honey, my Juvia concealer. I was so over it by then though. Just 
to go over my low class ass wet and wild concealer I'm sorry y'all I just hate it so damn much I use my Juvia's Place setting powder in Namib Nambib? I don't know how to pronounce that but I go over my concealer I'm not gonna say sections or areas or even placements because I feel like that's not that accurate I do love this powder a, like a little really goes a long way after I pat it down, I just go over the areas with a brush and try to brush off any excess or try to spread out any remaining powder that I have on my face across my face. These are my crusty ass lashes my daughter picked out. I ordered them from off of AliExpress, but before I apply these, I'm gonna use my Revlon All-in-One Mascara to get my stubs together and remove any fallen eyeshadow. After that, I apply my Law London 18 hour lash, I don't know what that voice is, but it's a lash glue. After they're dried, I apply them on my beautiful eyelids by hand because I am a gangsta. I'm moving gangsta ways. I don't know what I'm talking about again. I'm starting to get delusional, y'all. I need food in my system, but I apply them with my fingers because I can't use those little tweezer things and I've been doing it with my fingers for years, so why switch up what I'm comfortable at doing? For my lips, my daughter chose this Maybelline Glitter Fix Glitter Lip Gloss in Wicked Tees. I asked for a liner and again she said no, so I lost. Again, but you know what? That's okay. That's okay because I'm actually starting to think this little, this little color coordination or whatever you want to call it that she picked for me actually comes out pretty cute. It definitely screams a two-year-old did my makeup, but that's alright. Okay, so now that our face is all dolled up, let's fix our shirt. Boom! Look at that. Look at that. You can't really see the shirt. It just says antisocial. Now we're just going to fluff out our hair. Not, not, not like that though. We're not going to do that. I haven't done that since high school. I thought I left my emo face behind, but you know what? If it fits your face, it fits your face. I'm, I'm just not in that phase anymore in my life. Anywho. Let's roll that slow mo. wonderful individuals I would love to shout out this little beauty right here for her incredible color skills and all her help if you liked this video don't forget to like comment share and subscribe I also want to thank my handsome little hairstylist even though he dipped out on me but that's okay I showed up late to my own appointment and we will catch you next time bye bees <laughs> And this is a sweet